micro VCs. So that's what I am these days. Um, and it's a new asset class that's just emerged over, uh, I'd say, the last five years. And um, uh, these funds and, and micro VCs are, are broadly defined as, as you know, being under $100 million uh, of managed capital. Um, what's been exciting about that market is um, you know, it's smaller funds that have more flexibility in, in terms of what the return profile is. So uh, you know, venture funds, I raise money from investors. Uh, and invest that money, and the expectation is, you know, within a 10-year period, I've returned how much I raised plus, you know, at least like a six or seven x. I mean, most people, you know, say that they'll do more, but in reality, most venture funds are much below that. Um, and 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 so uh, there's pressure on VCs to be able, you know look at their portfolio and return that capital back to their investors. When you have micro V, when you're putting in smaller amounts, you know, and and you don't have that that you know you don't have to have that hundred x exit. You can invest in companies that have smaller exits and still be able to return money back to your investors. And so I think it's actually more aligned. Uh, with uh, most entrepreneurs, uh, you know, the challenge is, um, you know, having enough capital to be able to keep following on. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, entrepreneurs should, you know, certainly ask uh, the investors about. But uh, they've really, the micro VC market's really stepped in um, and, and filled what I think is, is a gap as, you know, companies are more capital efficient. Um, but they provide like institutional discipline.